Hey everybody, welcome to 3dmotive.com tips and tricks videos. I am Pradik, your instructor, and today we'll learn a cool trick on how to use reference for animation. Every animator uses reference while animating, and it's really good to come up with a workflow that suits the best for you. So this trick that I'm going to tell you about is already used by industry veterans and professional animators because it really helps in understanding the use of reference. Using reference for understanding is different than using reference frame by frame, which itself has a term called rotomation. Today we'll discuss a way how to break down reference and learn to take important parts of the reference to help push the idea of the animation. Alright, so let's begin. Here I've got a character and I'm going to pose him for animation. But in this video, we're mostly going to learn about extracting the pose or the idea from the reference. Now, before we go any further with the tools, let's discuss a bit about the reference. Now, there are a number of ways to set up references. Let's play it in quick time player. All right, here we go. There's a run cycle of a guy, and what I need is all these poses, right? So what I'm going to do is I can either, you know, try to understand this pose here and then try to match it up here. Or what I can do is I can bring the video itself here in Maya so that I don't have to, you know, keep on watching this video over, you know, minimizing and then working here and then opening up again. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a plane here. And since we need a image sequence here, let's go ahead and create a new material, Lambert. And in the Lambert, we need a file texture because we're going to be putting a file in here, like an image file. So we're going to go to image name, and I have already converted the video into JPEG images. Okay, so I'm going to press open. And I'm going to use mid sequence here. Okay, and this is going to disappear because my number starts from one, and it's going to probably start from 33. You know, so what I can do is I can frame offset this, make it 33, which means the number one is 33 now. 30 frames offset from one. Okay, so when I play this now, this looks perfectly normal. position correctly in front of the character so that I don't have a problem and right now I need is all the contact poses of this guy okay so for example this contact pose here and this up pose contact up contact up contact so for example we need this this pose here okay so we have to first understand that how many frames are here in this video okay so for example we go to the image, so it's 33, and the last image is 581. So for this trick to work, we need to break this expression here. This expression connects consecutive images in an image sequence inside a folder, and we can use that function to actually get the important poses from the video. For instance, sometimes while animating, it gets really confusing as to which pose to use from the video and what breakdowns to use. Wouldn't it be awesome if the video itself was playing in step mode so that while animating all we need to do is scrub through the video and get all the poses we want. To clear that out let me show you how. Alright let's go to this image number here. Let's first of all delete the expression from here. Okay. Nothing's gonna be happening here. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to set a key here, okay? And since we have a frame offset of 33, which means our number one is actually the 33rd frame of this video, and we go to the end of this 500, and we put a 533 there, and right click and set a key, okay? So what we have now is the whole video here. And since we have keyed from one to 533 we now have a graph for this okay and we have to find that graph okay so 
we know that this video is an image sequence, okay? Which means it's an image file, which means it's connected to the, the shader of this plane, okay? So we need to find that shader first. Let's go to Hypograph Connections, press frame, F for frame, and then we can go and select this Lambert here, okay? And when we open our animation graph editor, we can see that we have a curve here. We have a, you know, a curve here for this video. Okay? So whatever we do to this curve, you know, like right now it's in flatter tangent right now. Okay? So even if we change this to a linear tangent, nothing is going to happen here. Because it's just a video. But what is going to happen is when we select step mode, it's not going to work. Nothing is going to work. And then in the end, and it's going to skip so we can use this function here okay so let's go ahead and select this and change this to linear okay we need are the important poses here like for example this pose here okay so let's go ahead and select this pose here and go here right click and set a key there okay and we see that there's a key here getting connected okay For example, this one we need to so right click and set a key, and then we need this one here, right click and set a key, and this one here, right click and set a key, okay? Even though it's in a straight line, when we put it in step mode, you can actually see that this video is playing in step mode. So let me go through the whole thing. I'll pause the video and come back when the whole thing is done. Okay? Alright, now that we are done with the whole video here. We've got all the keys here in here. And we can select this whole curve here and change it to step mode. Step tangent. Okay? And then we minimize this. Now what we can do is, when we play through this video, we're getting the step mode of the video, which makes it more easy for us to animate here. Like for example, I need this pose here, okay? So this is the second pose. All I need to do is position this guy, you know. Even when there's a complex acting shot, we will get all the poses in step mode from the video. From whatever acting that we have done in the video reference, we can take the important poses from there, put the video in step mode, and animate it. It's a nice little trick, and it, it, it'll definitely help animators to get a grab of all the poses that they want. Alright then. That was it. Hope you learned this little trick. Thank you for watching 3 